about that because you guys might actually get the jokes. So um, let me just, just just tell you about a little bit about this poem. Um, in the ten years that I've done poetry, I always feel that there are far and few loud people in the crowds, and so I kind of feel like when I do this poem, it's sort of like me giving the loud people shout out wherever you are. You happen to be there, so. So that's what this is about. And so the name of my uh, poem, I actually borrowed from another poet um, named Val B, who wrote a poem called You Bring Up the Vietnamese in Me. And so I kind of um, remixed it and made it my own. And so the name of my poem is called You Bring Out the Laos in the House. <laughs> so wait, so let me just tell you, or, or as you know, my parents would say, because there's no S in the proper pronunciation, Lao in the Hao. Um, <laughs> Let me just say before I start, I know that there's a whole thing about whether or not you say the S or whether or not you should or do. Um, I wrote this poem before I realized that the S was silent. So um, instead of changing it, I kept it in because I felt that, you know, you know, as a poet, some words just sound a certain way. And so um, that's just letting you know that it's still called Laos in the House and not Loud in the House. So here goes. You bring out the Laos and the house. Not the Southeast Asian, not the French Indochina, not the Laos or the Laos, but the Laos and the house. You bring out my best features, keep my skin tan and my hair dark. You bring out, you bring out my best features, keep my skin tan and my hair dark. You bring out my affinity for elephants like the one tattooed on the back of my neck or the ones that adorn the jewelry that I wear for luck. You bring out the quest for me to find vintage stamps in iron-on patches of the flag of Laos so that I could almost literally wear my heart on my sleeve. You, wear, you bring out a dislike of my long fingers that just turned into a discovery that just means when I fawn. They say it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I have to charge. You bring out a part of me that says I don't like, like rice, but how can I be Asian and not like rice? It's not that I don't like rice, I just don't like your rice. Because what we have, kamil, sticky rice, the sweet kind that we ball into our hands to eat while sitting on floors enjoying each other's company, our food meant for sharing, that's why they call it family style. You bring out the spiciness in me, the part that makes you find out that my version of heat is quite different from yours, and I love testing people's peppers limits, especially when you watch me, watch you finish what you couldn't finish, or let, like that one time when you let me cook dinner for your family and we were suddenly surprised by your sister's screams of, how come the mashed potatoes are burning my mouth? <laughs> you bring out the interpreter in me, well, when or if there's someone to interpret for. In finding a reason just to say anything, I sometimes eavesdrop on the next best thing, Thai people. Just to claim that I can understand them, I, I just can't talk back. And that, in turn, brings out the bilinguist in me, the part that asks you to teach me Spanish, not because I prefer it to my own language, but because I just want to share something with someone who is around. And I know that I'm special because I hear your little brother tell your mother, Kathy's not China. Stop calling her China. She's from Laos. <laughs> and I wish I could teach you how to speak like me, but it always ends up going something like this. The difference between Salty and Needle is Kim and Kim. Kim, Kim. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's just go with phrases. This is how you say, where are you going? By sight. Say it with me. By sight. That first word, bite, is more like a cross between a B and a P. Bite. No, no, more B. No, more P. And that's why we're sticking to Spanish. And if this is bad, you send me JPEGs and articles about Laos and links to YouTubes of dudes rapping in my language. That made me laugh, so I guess we're even. You bring out the stink test, the one where I make you smell the essence of the ba and bedag, otherwise known as fish sauce and dirty fish sauce. If you don't know bedag, you smell it. <laughs> the dark, muddy liquid that lingers between pungent fish chunks, this Fish sauce is so dirty, dirty that you can only buy them in unmarked jars hidden underneath kitchen sinks. Yes, that's how bad it stinks. I haven't gotten to the dry shrimp or the crab paste yet. There's an age-old saying that if it stinks, it tastes good. But if you can stand salty fermented seafood products, then I'm saying you are a good friend. You bring out the weird food references that still make me feel comfortable enough to talk about, like ant egg soup. 
fried grasshopper beef in blood sauce, and my favorite, fertilized chicken eggs. In Laos, we call it kaluk. In the Philippines, they call it bulut. But on TV, everyone calls it that episode on Fear Factor. <laughs> you bring out the comparisons that bring out the differences because if someone has never heard, then there will always be, there will always be an interest. You bring out the exclusive factor, the part that makes me limited edition, or should I say exotic? Because until now, you've never known about Laos, which unfortunately brings out the ignorance in you, as well as a series of questions that always strangely follows this order. Oh my god, your skin is so pretty. Where are you from? Wait, wait, let me guess. I'm really good at this. You're Filipino. No, okay, wait, 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 okay. I just met somebody from here. Hawaii. You're Hawaii. Oh, I got it wrong again? Oh, I should have figured it out, because you look exactly... I just had this the other day, and you look exactly like the hostess. You're Thai. No? Who the fuck are you then? <laughs> you bring up the authority in me asking you why my identity has to be concluded in three guesses and my answer to you is first of all it's Hawaiian, not Hawaii. Second of all, I am from Laos, land of a million elephants. If you can't find that on the map, then you probably can't say my last name, nor, nor can you make assumptions on my people. And no, I don't want to hear a story about some random Asian person, place, or thing that might be where I'm from. And by the way, take off your shoes when you step into my house. <laughs> you bring out my patience because I will not take Kathy, Cassie, or Cassidy as a substitute. It's Kathy. And so what if it was a mispronounced byproduct from my mother's native tongue, dancing with an American dream? She traveled halfway around the world for this. She gave up half, half of her life for this, so no, I do mind that I have to stand here for half a minute just because you can't get it half right. You bring out the last in the house, and all, although it took so long to come out, you see, by just forgetting or just not thinking about me, you force me to remind you. But by questioning or just thinking of me, you force me to remember myself. This poem is just as much about you as it is about me. Thank you.